When I was nine years old, I went on a trip to Hawaii. And apparently, I had a great time. The thing is, I don't remember any of it. But clearly it happened. I know it happened, but I couldn't tell you how it looked, sounded, or felt. So it holds this weird space in the library shelves of my brain as a sort of empty box on the back shelf with the word Hawaii scribbled on it but with nothing inside. So I decided to ask for some help with refilling that empty box, or at least getting me started. Are you seeing me or are you still seeing the back of my desk? I still see the back. God damn it, how do I switch this? Okay, okay, I'm um, ready. Okay. There we go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I remember you being into like any kind of adventure possible. You know, there was like a certain amount of curiosity. You know, you were like, you know, oh, I'll try that. You know, way, way above the ocean, there was like this kind of windy trail that took us down to the bottom of the valley. And there was a tree with a swing hanging on it, and you found that swing first, because there were like really exotic plants. You would like go discover certain plants and stuff like that. It was kind of a cove, nice sandy beach at one end of it. Yeah, there was yeah, some yeah, rocks. Yeah. There were some rocks. See, now it's, now it's coming back. <laughs> As I spoke with my parents, and my mom put one first thing in my Hawaii memory box, and my dad put a second thing. The funniest thing started to happen. The box began to fill up on its own. And I began to imagine. I imagined the blue, the green, the red. I imagined the warmth, the cold, the dry, the wet, the big, the small, the open, the closed. And soon enough, my Hawaii box is full. And the beautiful thing is that next time I find the box empty, I get to fill it up all over again. This is boring, this is paradise.